Mr. Chairman, I tell you, uh, knowing that you uh, for many years had picked up more and more support for your bill, uh, legislation to audit the Federal Reserve, I, I mean, I, I wish truthfully, and it has nothing to do with you gentlemen here today, but I'm telling you that the distrust out here by the American people is as deep and severe as I've ever seen. And it does not only Congress itself, not only the administration, but the Federal Reserve is just at this point at a very low ebb as it relates to trust. And I, I, I'm not talking about you personally. You, you two men of high integrity, I know that. But uh, right now, the Federal Reserve is not held in, in high esteem by many people in this country. I'll yield back. I thank the gentleman. I have a few short questions, and then we'll uh, finish up. The one thing is, on a follow-up on what Mr. Jones says, is, is the uh, confidence is, is very low. But when you speak of uh, independence, and I understand your terms, and uh, I, I disagree with, with the need for that, but I understand it. But what people hear when you say independence, they hear secrecy. You know, you're, you're going to keep it from us. And, uh, and, and like the point I made at the beginning, the SEC is to pressure companies to reveal information where the Federal Reserve does the opposite. They want, no, we can't tell anything because it might disturb the markets. But I do have one question. During the crisis or any time that you're aware of, uh, has the Federal Reserve or Treasury participated in any gold swaps arrangements? Uh, we don't, the Federal Reserve does not own any gold at all. We have not owned gold since 1934. Um, so we have not engaged in any gold swaps. But it appears on your balance sheet that you hold gold. What appears on our balance sheet is gold certificates. When we turned in, in uh, before 1934, we did, the Federal Reserve did own gold. We turned that over by, um, by law to the Treasury and received in uh, return for that gold certificates. If, if the Treasury entered into, because under the Exchange Stabilization Fund, I would assume they probably have the, the legal authority to do it, they wouldn't be able to do it then because you have the securities for essentially all the gold? No, we have no the interest in the gold that uh, is owned by the Treasury. We have simply an accounting document that is called gold certificates that represents the value uh, at a statutory it's rate and, and still that we gave to the Treasury in 1930. And still measured at $42 an ounce, which makes no That's sense right. whatsoever. But you know, the conventional wisdom today uh, says that uh, gold is really not money. We don't want it to be money. I mean, if you're for the gold standard, there's something wrong with you. And and. Uh, Yet we hold the gold, and you know there have been suggestions made, and and I've sort of, uh, you know, encouraged the suggestion. You know, if gold is not money and it's an asset, and you don't even use it because it's on your balance sheets, and you don't even use it at the real value, what, why? What would? Be, would you have a position on this? Why shouldn't the Treasury just sell the gold, give it back to the people? The people had it at one time. Let the people have it. Would you have any objection to that? Would you, would you advise us and say, no, that's, that's not good. We ought to hold the gold. Uh, do you think holding the gold is a good idea or a bad idea? So I have no position on that at all. That's clearly no position. <laughs> Treasury. It's a matter for the Treasury. It's not within the purview of the, of the Federal yeah, Mr. Baxter, would you have an opinion? I, my opinion is I agree with Mr. Alvarez. No, no, no position. Well, it, it's amazing because I've asked questions. I've asked questions to the Federal Reserve, you, you know, the members of the board for for years, and uh, whether it's been Mr. Greenspan, I, I can't recall exactly whether I've asked Mr. Bernanke, but it's always, well, no, we have to hold on to these assets. But if if it's not money and we don't need it, we're not going on a gold standard. I mean, I, I would think that they shouldn't be holding it. The reason I ask that is the truth is, is gold is money and people don't throw it away and people do cling to it. And, but I would be really, there's a lot of people who suspect because of this lack of transparency that there's been a tremendous amount of gold swaps and loans made and central banks sold a lot of gold off the, after these last, you know, the last 10 years. A lot of the gold has left the West and has gone to the East. 
and the central banks that now have positive trade balances, they buy up the gold. There has to be a message in there and a significance, even for those who don't want to have restraints of gold, it has to be a message out there uh, that, that we should look at because we're in a financial mess and it has to do with our monetary system and it's being reflected today in rising prices and a weak economy and just printing all this money isn't doing any good. All this stuff that's been done for three years and you look at the economic statistics now, they're horrible. And, uh, and, and these people who lost their jobs, uh, they're still unemployed. The people who bought stocks in the year 2000, uh, if they held on, they probably haven't even broken even. They probably lost purchasing power. So eventually, I, I think, I know this is off the subject a little bit, but it is, is reflected only in that we don't know exactly what goes on, and people, when they don't know, then they get suspicious, and they say, well, it's kept secret from us. Why aren't we allowed to know? And uh, we, we just march on. And the type of dollars we're talking about, and when we hear about this money going to central banks and uh, banks that Gaddafi was a part owner in, I mean, this stuff is, this, this uh, really stirs up the emotions of a lot of, a lot of people. But I do appreciate you being here, and, and I, I know that uh, there'll be a lot of questions, uh, there will be written questions submitted, and uh, we'd appreciate your cooperation and, and send us our answers back. And I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman. This hearing is adjourned.